The Texas State Capitol is known for being a hotbed for live music, breweries, and of course, barbecue. But since 1998, Kube Coffee has been brewing up some of the best coffee around. All right, so we've arrived at the roastery. It's really early and I haven't had any coffee yet to prepare myself for this experience. I can already smell what's cooking inside, so let's go check it out. Inside, if you were expecting something like your local coffee shop, well, you're in for a surprise. It smells amazing in here. And to get a better understanding of Cuvée Coffee, who better to speak to than the owner, Mike McKim. The term cuvee is actually a champagne making term. At champagne houses, when there is a spot in the vineyard where the grapes are superior to everywhere else, they'll pick those grapes, they'll use the juice from the first press, and that's what they'll make their cuvee offering out of. So it's um, kind of like a super premium champagne. So super premium coffee. Super premium coffee, All yeah. Right. I've never experienced coffee roasting or anything like that, so yep. can you walk me through the process? So the process of coffee roasting starts with the raw product, the coffee bean, right? And the coffee bean is basically a seed from a cherry that's grown on a coffee shrub or coffee tree. That coffee is processed, dried, and brought over to the U.S. And then once we get it in our roasting facility, that's where we put it into a coffee roasting machine and basically turn it from green to brown, right? So that's. In a nutshell, that's the roasting process. So not only do you do, let's say, traditional coffee roasting, y'all also do cold brew. Cold brew, yep. So there's two ways uh, that people drink cold coffee. There's iced coffee, and then there's cold brew. Cold brew is very different. You don't use hot water during the process at all. And you basically steep the coffee with cold water for 12 to 24 hours. So what makes it so unique here at Coupe? Uh, there's a couple things that we do that are different. One, we actually chill down all the processed water before the coffee and water come into contact. And then the other thing is we have really hung our hat on nitro. Pumping nitrogen into the coffee and creating that um, creamy texture, that micro bubble that you get like from a Guinness beer. That's really where we've differentiated ourselves from everybody else. So you said we could taste the cold brew? Absolutely. All right, you want to go do that? Let's do it. If you're thinking that this place looks like a brewery, well, you're not wrong. And I can tell you I was so excited to taste the brew for the very first time. All right, perfect, enjoy. All right. Oh my gosh. Don't That's sound like so heaven. surprised. I don't, I don't know why I'm so surprised, so good. It's just coffee and water. And then the nitrogen gives it this kind of creamy texture, mouthfeel. It just feels so smooth. I think this is my new drink. <laughs> it does have twice the amount of caffeine Perfect. as a regular cup of coffee, so there's that. That's fine with me. Nitro cold brew is available throughout the state and country, and it tastes just as good as it did from the tap. So I think one of the things that's kind of cool um, and that's a point of differentiation for us is we wanted to make sure that we could create a true nitro experience, and it really wasn't possible until the Ball Corporation released their widget cans. That little plastic thing you see in the bottom, that's what they call a widget. What happens is when we fill the can with the liquid, it's already saturated with nitrogen, so it has that nitrogenation effect. A dose of liquid nitrogen gets put into the can is once the lid is sealed, the can is inverted, and that liquid nitrogen boils off into gas, and that, that nitrogen gas fills the widget. What happens is when you open the top and create this pressure differential, the nitrogen releases from the widget and creates turbulence, and that really enhances the nitro effect. Okay. Right? So you ready? Yes. Here we go. Oh, yeah. that was cool. Nice. Yeah. Meet, yeah. Next up, it was time to take part in the quality sampling of the daily roast in a time-honored tradition known as cupping. Right now, we're going to do what we call in the industry a cupping, which okay. is basically a way that we taste coffee here in the lab. So it's not the cupping that made Michael Phelps famous, right? <laughs> or that he made famous. A little different. A little different, okay. A little different, yes. <laughs> Step one is we're going to grab a glass and smell the dry aroma of the coffee. Next step is we'll steep the coffee in water, and then this will be the first step into us actually physically tasting the coffee. All right, so the next step right. is you see how the coffee rose to the top? Yeah. So we call that a crust, okay. all right? So there's a crust of coffee on the top, 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna smell the wet aroma. Okay. So we'll take our spoon and we'll punch a hole in the crust, put our nose really close to the cup, and then like a poof of, of steam will come out when we break the crust. Okay. And you're gonna inhale it into your nose. Now that we've taken the foam off the top of the coffee, what we're gonna do is take a little bit of coffee, put it on your spoon, and we're gonna suck the coffee off of the spoon and try and get it to coat your entire palate all at once. Don't tilt your spoon or anything and just I like the head movement. It tastes yeah, delicious. I, I mean, you get like, into it. Like... <laughs> there you go. There go. Now we're it. getting somewhere. Got it. But before we headed back to the studio, we stopped off at the Cuvée Coffee Bar. So this is where you can get all that roasted goodness without slurping it off of a spoon. Plus there's a great selection of beer. Nice little place to hang out. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Okay, so I was told I have to try the horchata latte. Yeah. And I'm also kind of hungry, so what do you recommend? Um, we have a really good cinnamon bun. Okay. It's really good. Perfect. Thank you so much to the folks at Kube Coffee for teaching us a thing or two about what goes into next level coffee. For now, I'm going to enjoy my latte. I'll see y'all later. Get matched with your perfect coffee by visiting covecoffee.com to learn more.